U.S. military prosecutors called the court-martial of Marine Staff Sergeant Frank Ruderich the last chance for justice in the mass killing of 24 Iraqis in the town of Haditha in 2005. But on Monday, Ruderich, who was charged with manslaughter, pleaded guilty to negligent dereliction of duty. Now he faces a maximum of three months in prison and a rank demotion. A military statement says, Staff Sergeant Woodrich accepted responsibility for his actions and will now be held accountable for those actions. Woodrich had ordered his unit to shoot the civilians after a roadside bomb killed a member of their convoy. The victims included women, children, and an elderly man in a wheelchair. Prosecutors said Woodrich was ultimately responsible for his team's behavior. Prosecutors dropped charges against six of the Marines, while the seventh was found not guilty of trying to erase photographic evidence from a laptop. Afterwards, the massacre was hushed up for months. The revelations further damaged the U.S.'s reputation among ordinary Iraqis and boosted anti-war sentiment in the U.S. With Wooderich's plea deal, legal experts say the criminal case is done. The current administration has taken the position we're going to look forward and not backwards. And as I said, accountability should be top down, not bottom up. The doctor who identified the bodies of the victims in 2005 told Al Jazeera that justice has not been done. Wooderich will be sentenced on Tuesday. After so much time, the final chapter of the Haditha massacre is coming to a close in the U.S., but not in Iraq, where the news that no one is facing any significant prison time for two dozen deaths will certainly aggravate the already strained relationship between the two countries. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, Washington.